It's great exercise. I wasn't talking about volleyball. Yeah, I'm enjoying that game too. Oh, we have all tried. But it looks like he has his eye on you. Rumor has it he's looking for a trophy wife. What aren't you telling me? Hey, you buddy. Looks like you've got a full corral there. Yep, just like Grandpa's horse ranch. Except I need Hank. Best ranch dog on the planet. <laughs> he asked me to move in with him. What? What are you waiting for? That gorgeous beach house? Ah! I know. It's just not that simple. Hey, Mom. We're going back to Texas for Christmas this year, right? We'll see. That means no. <laughs> hey, Sam. Let's go for a swim. Okay. Race ya! Looks like the kid's busy. Come up to the beach house His for a His name is Sam, remember? And I just asked him to go for a swim. Go! I'll watch Sam. Hello? Mom? Wait, slow down. What? What is it? I can't understand. Yeah, we'll be on the next plane. The next plane? What's going on? It's my dad. He's had a heart attack. Dana! Dana, come back! Bring Sam! Look, I'll, I'll go with you. Oh, wait, I can't. I've got a closing tomorrow. Why don't you just stay here, see what happens? It's my dad, Garrison. What is it, Mom? Pack up, honey. We have to go. But, Mom, it's your grandpa. He's... We're going to Texas. Yay! Cover my shifts? Yes, yes, go, go. I'll call you later. Wow. Yup, I'm home. Even the taxi drivers are cowboys. I'm guessing you're Sam. Yep, and that's my mom. I thought Guy was picking us up. Huh. I was, uh, I was already at the hospital, so Alfred, can I take this for you? No, thanks. I've been carrying my own baggage for years. Suit yourself? How about you, Sam? You seem like a sensible kind of guy. Can I help you? Yeah, sure, thanks. Let's go, guys. Just over here. Uh, where's your taxi? Oh, I never said I was a taxi driver. You did. Work for your dad. Oh, this is my jam right here. I'll just put your things in your dad's truck if that's okay with you. Fine, that's fine. He's on third floor, by the way, just left off the elevator. Thanks, mister. Chase, Chase Eversall. Thanks, Mr. Chase. Are you sure welcome, Sam? Cassie? This is from James. Now, listen you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to this or that city, carry on business, and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are like a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Okay, well, that was sure uplifting. Grandpa! Sam, be careful. Well, there's my little mist right now. Girl, come give your mama a hug. Oh, how you doing, Daddy? Well, according to Clara, I shouldn't be planning for tomorrow. Oh, hush, Marvin. <laughs> Son, give your grandma a hug. I need one, too. Oh, you feel so good. 
Really, Dad? How are you? It was just my gallbladder. Just your gallbladder? They had to take it out. It's not like it was a hangnail. So it wasn't your heart then? You sound disappointed. No, I... We just found out last night, honey. All things work together for good. Really? I grabbed my son, got on a plane in the middle of the night... I am sorry that I made you come all this way. You're here now, and that's good. Now, where's Chase? He's my ride home. Who is this Chase guy, anyway? He says he works for you. You ready to go, Aunt Claire? Oh, honey, I thought you forgot about me. Going home soon, Marvin. Tonight. If they'll let me. I got a visit with my grandson. Let's see what the doctor says. But before you know it, you're going to be eating brisket at the Somerville County Fair. I don't know about that. He's going to be on a special diet. I bet Sam would love to see our little county fair. It's no big city amusement park, but we got plenty of horses. It's only a few weeks away. We'll be long gone by then. Let's go on, Claire. I'm double parked. Marvin, ladies, Sam, keep a good eye out for Grandpa, would you? I will. Just sad, that's all. Takes a near-death experience to bring you back home, and now you're talking about leaving. Hank and I are getting eggs. Come on, Hank. Come on, boy. My job at the restaurant. You could do so much more than waiting tables. You have a degree. No, Mama, I can't. This is my life now. Well, don't tell your daddy just yet. It's his first morning to come down, and I don't want him to get off. Tell me what? Hey, honey, look at you all dressed. Mm. Come on, sit down. Cassie, pour your daddy a coffee. Feeling better, Daddy? Yeah. Tell me what. Uh, Sam and I are flying out in the morning. I've got my job and his school's starting soon, so we're gonna... Waffles! There you go. We're trying something new. They're made with quinoa. Because your gallbladder. I don't have a gallbladder. Yeah, so that's what I mean. We got schools here, and we got restaurants, too. I have a life back there. Waiting tables all hours of the night. There's no life for you. Or Sam. Daddy, please don't start. The coup I found is still an egg. <laughs> Guy! Oh my goodness, look at you! It's so good to see you! <laughs> I was hoping we'd get to see you before we left. Sam, honey, go wash up. Here, sit down. So, how's Jeff? Great. He just finished vet school. He's coming back home to start a practice. You're kidding me. I remember when me and that boy used to run around the pasture trying to rope calves with bale and twine. <laughs> and look at you, Ladybug. You're just as pretty as you were when you were the reigning queen at the Tri-County Fair. You're right. Have a waffle, guy. They're made with quinoa. I don't believe I will. Y'all can make fun, but it's my job to keep my husband alive. I will have some of that bacon, though. Oh, Marvin, I did what you asked. He's in the barn. Who's in the barn? Splash. He's awesome, Mama. Guy says he's just like the horses you used to ride back in the day. No, son. He's better. Daddy, I thought your riding days were over. They are. Not yours, aren't If you brought me back here... What? I, I didn't fake my gallbladder, darling. It was just interest in time, and that's all. This horse is special, Cassie. He's... That's what you always... I am right this time. Aren't you just a little curious? Barbara, looks like he missed you. How old is this horse? 
Five. Five? Isn't that a little old for a Rainer? He's missed the fraternities. Who said anything about fraternities? We're training him different, thinking long term. That doesn't sound like Cliff. Who you got training him? All right, bring him out. Let me take a look at him. Deep chest. Clean legs, too, but I don't see anything extraordinary. It's also his breeding. He was sired by Commander Lena. It's impressive, but I... He handles like no other horse I've ever been on, Cassie. And Chase Eversall says that he... Chase Eversall? What does he have to do with it? That's who you have training him? Oh, Daddy, he's got you all worked up over nothing. I knew I didn't trust that you man. You don't trust me. You should trust your dad. He's got good instincts. He called you right, too. Feisty and predictable. What? Who do you think you are? Well, Splash's trainer. At least for now, anyway. That man tips his head at me one more time. What about Cliff? He's the best trainer in East Texas. Have you even talked to him about Splash? Well, maybe you and I should make a visit over to Cliff's. See what you he You do what you want. I have a job to get back to. Oh, yeah, slinging hash for customers or riding a championship quarter horse in the international equestrian game. I do not sling hash. It is an elegant five-star restaurant, and I... The Equestrian Games? Since when is reigning an IEG sport? Since now? I don't believe it. A Western competition in the Games? Yes, and you're good enough to do it, Ladybug. Me? Yes. Bryden? What do you think? Well, I can't. Well, Chase thinks that a lighter rider with a lot of feel... Chase is... again. Ugh. Where are you going? Calling Dana, seeing if she can find someone to cover my ships until I get back. Leticia usually gets the door for me, but come on in. It's so good to see y'all. Now, Cliff's on a call. He'll be in in just a minute. But, Cassie, I swear my jaw just about dropped when Cliff told me you were back home. It's like a high school reunion. Oh, well, Sam and I are just back for a visit. We're just uh, making sure Daddy's okay. Of course. So you finally married that old Ronnie, huh? No. I never married him. He just left before Sam was born. Oh, oh, that's right. Well, anyway, come on and sit down, have a seat. So, Cliff tells me that you're a cocktail waitress now? What happened to that college degree? Oh, I got it. It's just that waiting tables pays more. Oh, right, a lot of men customers, I bet. Well, now, I was gonna have Leticia get us some sweet tea, but I do not know where she is. Y'all go on and make yourselves comfortable. Leticia! 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 Oh! <laughs> Silly. Y'all go on and sit! There we go. 
Now, Leticia makes the best sweet tea in Texas. I don't mean to brag, but it's true. I don't know what I would do without her. She practically raised our boys. Oh, how many boys do you have? Three. And they are all just as handsome as Cliff. Darling, you bragging on me again. Well, honey, I can't help myself. Well, look at you, Cassie girl. Come on up here. <laughs> oh, goodness, you look just the same as high school. Don't you, Mandy? <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> Marvin, I'm glad you come to your senses. Now come on, I'm gonna show you how a real training operation works. I got horses here from every big name ranch in Texas. The Rio Star, Sweet Briar Rakers, and Gunsmoke Downs. Hey, Tommy, bring them on over here. Now you and Cassie are just like family, which is why I'm considering training your horse. Now I don't mean to sound condescending, but you're not my usual clientele. Hey, Tommy, bring him on over here. Hop on off there, Tommy. I want to show our friends how it's done. Beautiful, Cliff. Really brings back memories. Thank you, Cassie. Marvin, I know you have high hopes for your splash, but training for the games, <laughs> that's a whole new world. I just don't want to see you embarrass yourself. That's impressive. All. We'll certainly keep you in mind, Kesterson. Look, Marvin, I offer my time here today to show you the facilities and give a demonstration. So if this is some sort of a game, this is no game, son. I got a lot invested in Splash. A lot of money. Five years of... And that's another thing. I sure hope that Chase Eversalls hadn't ruined him. I'm not even sure I should take him on. To start with a five-year-old... The trials stipulate a horse's entry no sooner than six years. I know that. It's just Eversall's that... been training him slow. Letting him go at his own pace. You ought to know better than anybody. A reigning horse only has so many patterns in him over a lifetime. We'll let you know. Come on, Cassie. Dad. Oh, Cliff, I'm sorry. I'll talk to him. He'll come around. I hope it's not too late. I'd be willing to take a splash on, just as a favor to you. We'll be in touch. Don't worry. Have you lost your mind? He just showed you everything you needed to see. That horse was barely two years old. Exactly. Imagine what he could do with a more seasoned animal. The horse moved like a robot. That's all horses are to Kesterson. Machines. Daddy, you once told me that you'd only get back into it if you had a sure thing. If you really believe that Splash is a sure thing... I thought you were a sure thing, and look how that turned out. You mean how I turned out? I didn't mean... Well, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry I couldn't stay your perfect little county fair queen. I grew up, okay? I had a life to live. Speeding off. In that fast car with that boy, Ronnie, was no life for you. You're here now, Cass. Stay and help me with all this. It's never too late to have your dreams. My dreams? These are your dreams, Daddy, not mine. How'd it go? Disaster. I know. Must be a shock to see what Mandy did with your leftovers. Hey, girl.
Grandma? Hank and I want to feed Splash. Can I have some carrots? Sure. In the door, sweetie. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, buddy. Cliff Kesterson is not my leftovers. We never even dated. Well, that's because you never said yes. Guess you think my life's a train wreck, too. I was just teasing you about Cliff. He wasn't right for you. You mean I wasn't good enough? No, that is not what I mean. You are my baby, my only girl. Your daddy and I will, we just had such high hopes for you, that's all. And I went and messed it all up. Well, it's like Aunt Clara says, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and who are, and are called according to his purpose. I know the scripture, Mama. I just don't buy it. I know sometimes it's hard to see the end from the beginning. It's okay, Mom. I really need a shower. I'm going to go do that, and I'll come back and help you with lunch, okay? Okay. Lord, I give it to you. Again. Hey there, Sam. See you found yourself a new best friend. He's awesome, Mr. Chase. Grandpa says he's gonna win the trial. <laughs> God willing, we're sure gonna do everything we can to give him the best shot. You wanna help? Yeah, what do you need, sir? Well, first thing any horse needs for a good workout, other than the carrots, is a good brushing. Hand me the curry comb, we'll get started. What kind of comb? <laughs> okay, bud, if you're gonna help me out, you gotta learn the tools of the trade. Hand me that bucket right there. It's right here, the curry comb. Now let's lead Splash out and I'll show you how to use it. Sound good? Yep. Hey. Hey. Lunch is ready. Isn't he something, Mama? He sure is, buddy. Now go wash up. Grandma's got lunch waiting. Aw, Mom. You heard your mama, boy. Okay. Heard you went to visit that showboat cliff. He speaks highly of you as well. Oh, I'm sure he does. Well, I'm gonna go wash off for lunch. You join us, Chase? I gotta get on back. Listen, it's good we're exercising them, but if we don't get a rider soon, we're gonna lose some ground. I know. Why can't you ride him? Oh, I could. He's just used to your dad. About 40 pounds heavier. We just have a better shot if we had a lighter rider. Why don't you come on out to my place and see the horses I train before you let Cliff ruin Splash? Chase, it's nothing personal. It's just that Cliff has a world-class facility like no other around here. And it's just that if a horse is going to make it from East Texas to the equestrian games, it'll be at a Cliff's barn. Why don't you see what I'm about before you make a decision? OK. OK, then. Good. Let's go, Splash. Now, in reigning competition, the most impressive move is the slide. So when we're in the equestrian games... If? Don't you mean if? Thanks for lunch, Mama. Daddy, can I borrow the truck? Where to? Chase Eversaws. I promised I'd go by and check out his setup. Can I come, Mama? Well, come on.
I see what you're doing. Don't get her hopes up again. She's been through too much already. This is Riata. She's pretty. How old is she? Three. Bought her off some guy selling some brood mares. Thought she might have some talent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy girl, easy girl. What's she scared of? This is all new to her, Sam. She's green. That's right. We have to teach her to trust. Raining's about the horse and the rider. Moving together as one. Knowing each other's thoughts. Not forcing her into some cookie cutter program. Is that what Cliff's doing? That's not what I'm saying. But every horse is an individual. Relationships take time, right, Cass? That's why this part of Splash's training is so critical. Whoever rides him in the qualifying rounds will be the one to ride him in the games. Well, aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Hey! Hey! Sam? Cassie? This is Layla. She's our lot beard state fair champion. Two years in a row. Got babies in the barn. Wanna see him? Well, go on. Is that your daughter? No. She's my assistant's niece. Her mom's divorced, so she comes to Shauna a lot. Hey, Chase, you want me to walk her? Here she is now. Shauna, this is Cassie. Cassie, Shauna. Shauna's my training assistant. Most of my horses start with her until they're strong enough for more weight. Yeah, I'm just as lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take her and cool her down before we head out. Sounds good. It's nice meeting you, Cassie. Yeah, you too. So what do you think? I don't know. It's a lot to process. No, it's actually pretty simple. Your dad just got out of the hospital. He's not up for riding, so if you're as good as he says Wait, you are... Wait, how did we just get from you possibly training Splash to me riding him? Your dad's been talking about you riding Splash all along. What? How manipulative. I mean, how selfish to think that yeah, I would... right. Your dad is so selfish. I mean, to ask you to ride in the International Question Games. <laughs> Whew! He's just a mean, mean man. Mom! Layla says I can keep him. He's the runt. Too little to compete. Can I, Mom, please? No, Sam. Where would we keep him? Come on, we gotta go. But Mom! I said no. Let's go. She's mean. Nah, she's not really mean. She's got a little fire in her belly. Come on, let's go put him in the hutch. I don't feel like going home just yet, do you? You want a Coke? Okay. trouble with her. It's like she knows where she's going. Where's she going? Auction at Knoxworth. This mare? She's about to fold. What's Knoxworth? It's a place that they buy horses and then sell Never them. Mind. How much? What? How much do you think you can get for her? 
boss said not to take less than 250. I'll give you 200. And you can pocket the rest and save on gas. I don't know. The boss said. You and I both know you're not going to get more than 175 at auction. Suit yourself, and you still have to load her. How are you going to load her? Impulsive, stupid, irresponsible. So what'd you name her? Belle. Suits her. I know. Can't believe she was on her way to that auction and then off to some slaughterhouse in Mexico. Looks like she got mixed up with the wrong crab. She got some scars. My guess is she wouldn't take the abuse. Got labeled for bad behavior. That happens. She just looks so scared. I didn't want to leave her there. So who's going to look after her when you and Sam go back home? I don't know. I'll think of something. Dana's already called and left me three messages. What are you going to tell her? I need a few more days to help sort things through. I've already decided I'm sticking with Eversol. I just trailered splash on over. I thought I was helping. Don't worry. You got your life to get back to. Well, I'm sorry, Daddy. If I couldn't just drive. Okay, I got it. I don't think you should ride him. Yeah, I know, girl. I'm too old. Chase is too big. And you're too antsy to get back home. Well, then who's going to ride him? Shauna. Well, now wait a minute. Hey, guy. Hey. Jeff? No way! Look at you! You're like a real man! Yeah, last time I checked. <laughs> hey, guys. Y'all picked me up at 6, you here? Yes, Bob. You already told me. Peggy still has coffee. Good. I'm not finished with our conversation, Daddy. We'll talk later. <laughs> so good to see you! Uh, guy told me that you're starting a practice. Yeah, I'm just moving back in with Pop till things get going, but... I'll be doing ranch calls and fair rating competitions at the vet medic, so that sort of thing. That is so great. You know what? I could use a vet's opinion right now. Come on. What we got? Uh, I've got this horse. Um, take a look at it? Yeah. I kind of identify with her. Well, sometimes the scars are on the outside. Sometimes they're on the inside. I imagine you both are going to be all right. You have grown up. Well, you call me as soon as she shows any signs of labor, because I imagine it's going to be a rough one. Is Bill OK? Sam, hey, this is Jeff. He's an old friend of mine. Hey, Sam, have you ever been to the Somerville County Fair before? No, but I'd like to. Well, your luck starts this Saturday with barrel racing and the raining competition. Why don't you and your mama come join me? Can we, mama, please? Well... I'll take that as a yes. I'll pick you up Saturday night around 6. <laughs> and take a shower before then. You know, put on some makeup or something. Look like a girl. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Y'all coming tonight? Yeah. That's what I wanted to tell you. Splash is competing. In the county fair? Why? 
Chase thinks they need more time in a competitive arena. Splash needs to trust Shauna sooner than later. I can't imagine Cliff entering his hopefuls in the Somerville County Fair, but whatever. That there is the girl that should be riding Splash. But whatever. That brings back some memories, huh? Don't it? Oh, my. You said I could have ice cream. You haven't had your dinner yet. Now, when I want to hold the money. I'm the oldest. Mandy's got her hands full. Let's go have some fun. Come on. Now, wait a minute. Ice cream. I mean it. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Here is a 20 for each of you. But that is it for the whole night. I don't want to hear another word, and I do not want to see you again. Get out of my sight. Go. Go. Well, hey, Mandy. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Cassie. How long y'all been? Now, those are some good-looking boys. You and Cliff sure know how to make them. Yes, well, <laughs> well, it is hot out here, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna go get some lemonade. See y'all. Bye. <laughs> look, look, a ring toss. Come on. <laughs> Three tries, ring on bottle, you get a prize. Close. Nice try, buddy. You know that, Sam? Let's give it another shot. Hey, Mr. Chase. Right, you, know, you don't want to go for the ones in the middle. They bounce too much, so stay to the side. Think up and over, right? Up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Oh, hey. yeah. Good there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chase never saw. This is Jeff. Jeff Devers, you're a guy's son, right? Yep. I'm so proud of him. He's starting his own practice. Well, if you're still taking on new clients, I'd be interested in having you back at the farm. Absolutely. Be a pleasure. Great. I'll look right after this. I feel kind of silly competing at the county fair. It's okay, sweetie. It's just like we talked about, remember? You can do the smaller circus first, and then as soon as you're more comfortable on Splash, we'll get you out on the bigger ones. Hey, Sam. You been to the livestock tent yet? Well, come on. Uh, don't worry. I'll take good care of him. I just want to thank you, Miss Roberts, for giving me this chance. Uh, yeah, well, if Chase thinks you're the gal for the job. I mean, the International Equestrian Games? I still don't know if I'm good enough. It's nonsense, all right? You're willing. And that's the most important thing. Nice meeting you, Jeff. Cassie? You're proud of me. I'm, I'm touched. Girl, you got it bad. You know that? What are you talking about? Let's get some ice cream. <laughs> Make sure y'all take some time to visit the booth and support all our local vendors. Good. Not as good as that old brisket you and Walt used to make at the restaurant, though. <laughs> Mercy, I haven't made that in years. I miss old Walt. Me too. We've got some old favorites and some fresh new riders. Okay. This year. There are ten categories to compete tonight. Cassie. Hey, y'all. Barrel racing will be coming up next. Isn't that cute? They were just friends in school, but I'm hoping for more now. I don't know, Peggy. I don't see any sparks. Stop your meddling. 
Would it be so bad for our daughter to marry a doctor? <laughs> Sean is up next. And now from the Roberts branch. See who's here. Yep. That's all. She's one of our very own. Shauna Bryden Splash. How exquisite. Splash does look impressive. Who's talking about Splash? She looks good. Yeah, she looks good with me in the practice room, but out there on her own, I just... He's got her number. She's asking for the left spin, and he is saying, No, ma'am. Oh, this is bad. We're not going to play. No. Better go get her. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Hey, you two. Wonderful performance out there. Why don't you shut it, Cliff? <laughs> she does this good at the county fair. I can't wait to see her at the 4-H pony show. All right, Cliff. We get it. Cliff, honey! <sighs> By the way, Cassie, it's good having you home. You improved the view. Don't you have somewhere to be? Cliff! Coming! What were you thinking? Shauna's an incredible rider, all right? Splash a lot to handle. She just gets a bit nervous in front of a crowd. Well, she'll do just fine at the games. Hardly anybody watches. Did you see that? Sparks! The qualifying rounds are just a few months away. Cliff's already told you he's willing to ride Splat. Hey, don't you have a waitressing job to get back to? Cliff is making you an incredible offer. I don't understand why you want... Why do you think Cliff Kisterson showed up at the county fair to watch some rinky-dink rainers? Splash is special. And he knows it. I'm not gonna give up all of our hard work just to turn him over to that... that... Look, Mommy! Y'all are gonna kill me. I, I told him I had an extra cage, so... Just put it in the barn with bells. Mom's got breakfast ready. I'm not hungry. Whenever you would take the rain, the whole stadium would go silent. They knew they were in for something special. And they were right. Such confidence, poise for a young thing. You moved with the horse like you were flying on Pegasus. Smooth as glass. You never disappointed them. And you never disappointed me, either. My tough cowgirl and sweet angel. All in one. And you still are.
Well, hey there, cowgirl. What do you think of my duds? What in the world are you doing here? <laughs> you put on some weight. I like it. <laughs> Thanks. Where'd you get that hat? Airport. It was the biggest one they had. And I just had to have it. Hello. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Dana was getting worried. A few days has turned into a few weeks. Yeah, I know. It's gotten complicated. And my dad just... Dana said he was doing fine. In fact, she thinks they might be keeping you here against your will. Marvin, come take a look at this. I've been helping my dad with our family business. What's the family business? Tumbleweed control? <laughs> It may not look like it now, but this was once one of the premier horse breeding farms in East Texas. Okay, calm down, sweetie. You look so cute when you get frustrated. Who's that disaster? Garrison. Mom likes him. I don't. Is there anything I can do to help? No. Fixing things is my specialty. No, we can manage. How with you, Sam? Hey. Don't meddle. I know you've had fun playing cowgirl, but this isn't you anymore. Now come home with me. Move in with me. You, me, and the kid. My son's name is Sam. I know. S-A-M. Garrison, I think you should go. Now hang on a second. I, I came all this way. I think I'm more of a cowgirl than I realized. Jesse. You heard the lady. Now get. Go on, get. Well, Dana was right. You people are crazy. Okay, time for breakfast. I'm sure glad that fast car left without you in it this time. Me too, Daddy. Me too. Call Chase. Tell him to bring Splash home. This cowgirl feels like riding. set up some ground rules. Okay. First of all, I saddle my own horse. Now, I know that might sound a little snobbish, but I like to make sure he's cinched up properly before I get on. Second, I've been riding since I was old enough to sit up there in the saddle, so I doubt there's much you can tell me that I don't already know. And third, I know you and Dad have been trying out this new training method, and Excuse I me. At what point do you actually get on the horse? Uh, now. And Lord, thanks for bringing Cassie around. We all know how hard-headed she can be. Daddy! Seriously, Lord. You know, all our prayers, all these years. Thanks for bringing them home. Amen. Clara, you know I love your baked apples. When are you gonna make some of that good old barbecue of waltz? Oh, I haven't smoked a brisket since we had the restaurant. 
That's four I landed on your front porch that made your life crazy. Oh, honey, you helped keep me sane. That sure was good brisket. Oh, give it a rest, Marvin. Don't matter now anyway. You can only eat like this on special occasions. I have to eat one more thing, maybe with that quinoa. I'm not gonna. It's quinoa. Whatever. So, Sam, school starts tomorrow. You excited? No. I want to stay here and help train Splash. Next few months are gonna be brutal. Splash and your mama. Trust me, school's gonna be much more fun. But I don't know anybody. All my friends are back in Virginia. Oh, buddy. What grade are you in now, Sam? Fourth. That would make you 10, right? That is exactly the same age that Chase was when he came to live with me. Tell you what, Sam. Why don't I swing by tomorrow morning, pick up you and your mama, drop you off at school, kind of like a first day celebration thing? Really? Can we, mama? We're gonna be up early training anyway. Okay. It's a plan. Have fun. Why do I need to go to school? Everything I need to know is on Grandpa's ranch. Hey. Hey, we're in the same homeroom. I already checked. See you, Mom. She's not gonna learn that on Grandpa's ranch. Uh, where are we going? Still early. I want to show you something. Okay. So beautiful, isn't it? I guess. My Aunt Clara moved out here from Santa Fe. Came with her just to help her get settled in. I saw this place and so beautiful I couldn't leave. Wait, you lived in Santa Fe? For a while. I was born in Dallas. <laughs> no way. I never figured you for a big city guy. Why in the world would you ever leave Dallas? My mom and dad died in a car crash when I was 10. And Claire took me in. I'm so sorry, Chase. For a while there, I, I couldn't forgive him. For leaving, you know? And Claire prayed with me every night, but it didn't help. I was just too angry. Then one day I was sitting in church and the preacher said something that just hit me. There's no condemnation for those who trust in Jesus. No condemnation. this time I thought I was mad at them, but it was me. I realized I, I needed to forgive myself. They were coming to see me on my first rating competition. We got a lot of work to do. Should probably get on back. It's Belle. She's starting to fall. Your daddy's in there with her. Call Jeff. I'm trying. I can't reach him. Falls breach. Worries me she's so still. Where is Jeff? I'm gonna go call Guy Cell, see if he knows where he is. I should have checked on her this morning. Cassie, stop. Talk to her. It's okay. 
Easy. Legs out. Come on. Come on, girl. You got it, girl. <laughs> Here we go, cats. Oh, that's it, girl. That's it, girl. Well, it looks like I'm too late to be the hero. Shauna, what are you doing here? Oh, well, we, we were, um... On a date? <laughs> What's you gonna name her? Me? I don't know how to. Splash was born in the middle of a rainstorm. His mama dropped him right in the puddle. That's how he got the name Splash. This foal was born in a barn. Boring. This foal beat the odds. It's alive and well because your mom thought its mom needed a little help. A second chance. Chance? <laughs> chance it is, then. When can I ride Bell? Let's give mama a little break. Have to ease her into it, buddy. She needs to know you're on her side. Off to school, guys. Aw, oh, Mom! Come on, kids. I don't want to get in trouble for making you late. Have a good day. You ready? Let's do it. You gotta get him moving right after the spin. I know, you told me. It's all about the speed, Cass. I know. Look, you're doing great. You're giving me instructions. Daddy's yelling stuff at me, and it's just... I'm tired. Hey. You are a phenomenal rider. It's just qualifying's in less than a month. I know. I just need a hot shower. I better go. Okay. I'll see you later. See ya. Clara called. She wants you to come over for dinner. Right now? I'm a mess. Well, she says it's important. Make sure Sam does his homework. Already did. See? Belle loves me. I think she'd let me ride her. You heard your mom, Sam. Mom's too busy. I don't think she has time to help me. She's training me to the equestrian game, Sam. It's a big deal. Yeah, I know. Miss Clara, you here? Am I eating alone? I ate so much of it while I was cooking, I can't eat another bite. Here, take a bite. Oh, is this it? The brisket. I'm doing a new thing. Excuse me? When I woke up this morning, that was the scripture I came across. I knew it was time. For brisket? <laughs> I never lost that recipe. Walt 
died right before Chase came to live with me. Oh, no, no, keep eating. I was missing Walt so much I had to close down the restaurant. And I had to be there for Chase. Oh, we were a pitiful pair. <laughs> we took just as much care of me as I took care of him. He still does. Well, this morning, I pulled out this recipe, and I, I mixed up the spices for the rub, and I cleaned out that old smoker and brought it back to life. And then I remembered this morning's scripture, and I thought of you. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. That's beautiful, Clara. Really, I just don't see how it applies. Read that first line again. Do not dwell on the past. Stop there. Let it go. The hurt, the pain. My dad had tears in his eyes that night I drove off with Ronnie and I... I never even looked back. Let it go, sweetie. I love it. I am doing a new thing. What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes that's the fun part about God. Sometimes he just gives us a little nibble. It's a good nibble. Chew on it. Oh my, don't you look spiffy. Yeah, I'm uh, heading to church. Daddy and Mama just left with Sam. If you want to come back and talk to Daddy. You can... No, no. Um, look. I just need to get something straight with you. Look, if this is about training, I know I can be obstinate. Oh, I can be obstinate. I don't think you realize just how hard I can make your life. I bet I do. Oh, yeah? You're going to think I'm your worst enemy. You're going to be begging me for mercy. You know, I have a feeling you're the one who's going to be begging for mercy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What? One minute you're a total flirt, the next you're backing off. And your dad's paying me. I just want to make sure I'm being respectful of him. What, you think you need my dad's permission to kiss me? Well, I was hoping to do a lot more than kiss you. Well, I doubt he's going to give you permission for more than that. That's not what I meant, Cassie, and you know it. I am really confused. Look. I just want to take things nice and slow, okay? Like my training, and my horses. Great. Now I'm a horse? I just want to think it through, Cass, that's all. You think it through. I'm done.
Well, first of all, it's been a really long time. There's just something I need to know. Why do I keep doing this? I can't seem to get anything right. I mean, I know I'm a loser, but... I don't want to be. I'm done. I can't do it on my own anymore. I need you in my life. Take me or leave me. I'm yours. Sam, you were right. He's a really great kid. So thank you. Thank you for that. Getting down to the wire, qualifying's in less than two weeks. We have to work together, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yes. So we're a team. Let's just keep it that way. Sam! I begged him not to. He made me promise I wouldn't tell. He's not moving. It's okay, Leila. It's okay. Yes, it's an emergency. He's not moving. to wake up. He has to. Come here. Let's pray. No! I can't trust in a God who would do this. Because he God may have allowed this. If you say all things work together for the good, I'm gonna scream. Cassie. What about the x-rays? Sam has a concussion on the left side of his brain. It's been over six hours. Why isn't he waking up? How bad is it? Until the swelling goes down, we won't know for sure. The next 24 hours are crucial. Marvin, once you're going home, get some rest. I'll stick around and check in on Sam and Cassie, too. Thank, thanks, Doc. I'm staying, too. Even if she doesn't want me in there, I'll wait in the family room. You are family, son. Come on, Marvin. Let's get you home. I'm not leaving. Get some rest, Marvin. She might need you even more in the morning. He's right. Come this way. you had in mind, God? Is it? You know how much I care about Sam. 
Please, Helen. Well, I have news for you. I don't want it. Did you make him better? And God, Cassie, I just... I want her to know you and trust you. I thought I could trust you. Can you just let her know that you're there? Please. Sorry, Mama. It's okay, baby. <sighs> Can I have a milkshake? <laughs> hey there, buddy. How you feeling? Mm, my head hurts a little. You sure gave us all a real scare. feel like eating. You gotta eat, Marvin. Hello? Will do. Our grandson wants a milkshake. <laughs> He's okay. He's gonna be fine. Let's go get that boy a shake. How's he doing? Good. Mom's got him propped up in front of the TV. Guess you don't look so good. Two nights in a hospital chair will do that to you. Cassie, why don't we take the day off? You need to get some rest. You know we can't. We've already lost two whole days. All right. Well. You have to go easy on him. He's had two days off, too, you know? When he's ready, ease him into a gallop. He's up on that left rein, Cass. My girth. I, th I think it's loose. <laughs> My leg. I can't move it. Don't, don't, just stay still. Just hold still, Cass. Well, maybe God is trying to tell us something. Yeah, like you need to open a Robert's Wing at the Somerville Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. No, darling, I am. This was my dream, not yours. Don't kid yourself. I wanted this just as bad as you did. Yeah. It's too bad Grandpa can't ride. Splash should do anything for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old, so... There's no age limit. There was a 67-year-old dressage rider in the 1996 games. I looked it up. Don't y'all go getting any ideas now. You know, Sam's right. Splash would do anything for you. It's a good thing this happened before the qualifying rounds. That's right. The same rider that qualifies is the same rider for the games. Are you two nuts? It's less than a week away. Absolutely not. Look at Marvin. He's the best shape he's ever been in. He's lost weight. He looks so fine. 
All things work together for the good. Even quinoa. He said it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. We're going to get that Robert swing after all, aren't we? <laughs> that sounds like we got some work to do. Let's go tell Splash. Yeah, let's go tell Splash. Steady, Marvin. Keep him close to the edge of the ring. I know that, son. Watch his left lead, Daddy. You don't want it sloppy. Cassie, I told you that. I know that, Daddy. I'm just reminding you. You can do it, Grandpa. Son, you're the only one that has any sense around here. Ready? We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I, I just keep thinking, you know, if I hadn't messed up my leg or if I had just tightened the girth one more time. Yep. This is definitely all your fault. See if somebody would have just let me saddle splash, but no, you're all like I sat on my own horse. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Another bad decision. Yeah, I can pretty much sum up my entire life in two words. Wrong again. I can pretty much sum up mine in three. I love you. What? You love me? You love me? Why? Because you're you. That would be the reason not to love me. You know, I don't know if I love you more when you spit nails at me or when you're crying in my arms, but, but I do know for sure. No, I... no, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Okay, say it. I love you. Mama, why are you just sitting there? We need our rest. Well, you heard the man. Let's get some rest. <laughs> Come on, Sam, help your mama. Got her? Yep. Good night, y'all. Good night. As you can see, most of the riders are warming up. This is quite an event for owners as well. In the brass is present. Number 516 class is fired by First Stallion, the Mandolina. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, reigning competition is new to the games this year. Any particular horse or rider that concerns you here today, Cliff? No doubt there are some very tenacious competitors here today, but very few world-class rangers. I just let my reputation speak for itself. And an impressive one it is. We look forward to watching your run. Have a great ride. Thank you, ma'am. Will do. And there you have it, Cliff Kesterson, landslide favorite for a top spot on the U.S. Rating. Please clear the ring. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our first entry, number 732, Paul Desmond riding Ellie Street. How many until then? 
Seven. Entry 604, Diamond Engine, written by Cliff Kesterson. Diamond Engine, the six-year-old stallion, sired by Locomotion. I hate to admit it, that was perfection if I ever saw it. Robotic never looked so good. Come on, mess up something. Your sportsmanship is commendable, honey. Marvin Roberts, entry 518. Is this age correct? Probably. Okay. Oh, Lord. I'm too old for this. I know it. And you know it. I pray they don't know it. Good luck, Marvin. Next to work, entry 518, Splash, written by Marvin Roberts. Marvin Roberts. Our oldest rider in the competition at age 60. Bet Daddy loved that. Listen to those cheers. What do you think? I'll be right back. Where are you going? I want to be with them when the results come in. This waiting is killing me. I know, baby. I know. guys were coming? Oh, it's not every day you see a friend qualify for the equestrian games. Dad's not qualified yet.
Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, running competition is new to the games this year. And I guess this is a year of first. Hey, Daddy. What are you doing here? Chase just went down there to find you. Amazing. Is there a Kathy Roberts present? Come on, honey, raise your hand. This one's for you, Miss Roberts. You are the most amazingly talented, beautiful, well, frustrated woman I've ever met. Would you do me the honor of being my wife? Cassie, if you don't, I'm going to look awful silly. Entry 732, Paul Desmond, riding Elliott Green. Number 604, Cliff Kesterson on Diamond's Engine. And last but not least, Entry 523, rider Paul Monroe on Potter's Bar. Daddy, I'm so sorry. All your hard work. I don't wish now. Those judges don't want to send an old man to the games. Daddy, this was supposed to be your day, not mine. Darling, don't you know by now that any day of yours is already the best day of mine? sure about this cast? Well, I don't know. You can be pretty stubborn. Okay, well, I pretty much did everything I could, so I'm just gonna... But 
Um, I think I can manage. So, yes. Yeah, I'll marry you. Therefore, what God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chase Eversall. to make. Marvin, I just got an interesting call. Ellie's dream is out, been disqualified. And ladies and gentlemen, this old man is going to be riding in the International Equestrian Games. I can't believe it. Marlon, this is supposed to have been your day, not mine. Oh, Daddy, don't you know by now? Any day of yours is already the best day of mine. So, Mrs. Eversole, you think you're ready? Oh, no. Daddy riding in the games, six more months of stress-filled training. I bet I'll have endorsements. Cassie. Uh, hey, we could enclose the ring. We could winterize it. We could train all year. Cassie, honey. Yeah? I meant, are you ready to go home? Oh. Yes, Mr. Eversole. Take me home.
second chances when we go wrong. Thank God that second chances brought you. Chances brought you.